21 days ago, eight Americans embarked on the journey of a one afternoon of filming. One by one, they were eliminated by their peers. I can't do it. Do you want to move forward or do you want to go home? Coupon rhymes with coupon. What are you doing? I'm going to get some sit killer. No! Only three have endured every challenge. Ursula, an ER nurse whose ability to fly under the radar has served her well. Matt, a seminary graduate whose ability to treat everyone like garbage has advanced him to the finale. Max, a teenager whose drumming ability is only eclipsed by the majesty of his budding mustache. Only three finalists remain. Who will become the biggest miser? Man, Andrew, he is a good guy. Sad to see him go. Mm -hmm. yeah. We cannot let Matt win this thing. Yeah. Just... What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing. You know, just talking about how Andrew's gone now. It's anybody's yeah. game. Yeah. You guys are awful. It's not anybody's game. It's my game. No. Used to be this guy, not anymore. It's over. You might as well just give up now. Hey guys. Ready? How are the finalists? Yeah. The final three of the yeah. biggest prizes. All right, we're excited. Yes. Yeah, we are. Now let me explain how this is gonna go. The finale is gonna be intense. I want you to prepare yourself. It's gonna you're gonna face some things you haven't faced yet. And I don't know how you guys feel about each other or how it's all going, but it's going to be hard for each of you to do this. I just want you to prepare yourself mentally. The finale is coming up. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Good job, guys. Okay, guys. Today, we're going we're gonna to talk about how to avoid giving opportunities. These people are going to hit you up for money every single day. But they're just playing on your emotions. They're going to come up with these sob stories, but really all they want is your money. But what about what about this guy? I mean, you know, Sa Saquant, he's got a nice family. Look at that. Isn't that nice? What is he? A missionary? Ah, oh, those missionaries. They go to countries like Italy and other places in Europe. They're just there to drink the coffee and eat the good food. Perfect. They're not doing any actual work. Come on. Listen. When people start asking you for your money, you say no. Every time. And when no. these people start asking you for your money, never Got it. say yeah. no. Yeah. No. Every single time. No. 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 It's hard to believe that just a few days ago, I was the kind of person that gave to things like Compassion International, supported children around the world. <sighs> but now I know I've got this in the bag. I will be the biggest miser. They tried to make me super size, but I stood strong. They tried to get me to celebrate the 34 bypass. There are plenty of roads in Kaufman. They tried to get me to get new light bulbs. The light's still shiny. Hello, I'm Benji Magnus, senior pastor of Grace Baptist Church in Santa Maria, California. The Lord has opened doors for us for a new and exciting ministry, reaching out to ER nurses who are moderately or severely addicted to camouflage. That's right, ER nurses who are addicted to camouflage. A ministry like this can only take place in California, the land of the fruits and nuts. Will you support our ministry? I, I see one now, gotta go. The needs are great, will you support our ministry? Nurses, they need me. Nobody can see them. 
I need to go! Good morning, my name is Randy Whitley. I'm the pastor of the Point in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. We've got a young man that is our drummer, pencil thin mustache, long and lanky. Penmanship is terrible, but he can uh, shovel snow. We're trying to keep him on and we're in desperate need of financial support. Is there any way you could find in your heart to help us, please? I, I feel his pain, I gotta go help him. Students in seminary, training to be pastors. Man, get out of my way. They have shelves, but no books. Cars, but no gas. Late nights, but no Mountain Dew. Matt, they need you. They need you. Congratulations, Matt! You are the biggest miser! <laughs> you survived! Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Matt! Yeah. Yeah. You have the entire yeah. nation! Great job! Yes. Now, job. take another walk down the miser's mile. <laughs> When I saw that drummer, I just had to help him. Those nurses, they need me. I'm helping people change light bulbs. That 13 cents I gave in the Salvation Army, that's gonna go a long way. Matt, stop. when you least expect it. You might be talking to your mama on the phone. You might be in your grandma's house. But here comes the mission linebacker to boom! Let a fire. Become an, an epidemic. epidemic. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay. No, two hands is creepy. <laughs> it's really creepy. Don't. It's not. I voted for this person because he broke the number one rule in being the biggest miser, which is giving to a charity. The whatever army. So close. Try it again. The <laughs> Salvation <laughs> Army. <laughs> the army he gave to an so army. Giving in America has become an, <laughs> an epidemic. An epidemic. Yeah. Okay. 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 But I gotta say, the winner is Team Matt. Yes. 
Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What yes. in the world? Max, that's one vote for you. One vote. Sorry. Sorry. Who's that? That's one vote for you. Are you ready? Sorry. Go. Giving in America has become an epidemic. No more. What am I supposed to say after that? Just say whatever you want. Just say this needs to stop. Okay. I voted for this person because... But you can't do this. I know. I voted for this person because he broke the number one rule in being the biggest miser, which is giving to a charity, the army. <laughs> Man, I could tell just by that guy's beard he wasn't going to make it past the miser size of the challenge, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Remember, I, he's okay. waiting for you to interrupt. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry, I guess I could have kept no. going, Roz. Sorry, no, you should have. I should have. Giving in America has become an epidemic. No more. <laughs> Sorry. Three, two. <laughs> Andrew, that's three votes for you. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest miser. I need you to go home. Giving in America has become an epidemic. No more. We've spent the last 15 years helping people realize their financial entitlement. That's it, okay. Well, that's